Greetings. This Sunday is Halloween, and when we gather for worship this Sunday, we're going to be telling some ghost stories, specifically talking about the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit that comes to us on Pentecost, according to Acts 2. Uh, when we, no, we normally do Acts 2 on Pentecost, but we're going to explore it this Sunday, since we're talking about the Holy Spirit. And in, in this story, the Holy Spirit comes the, to the disciples as tongues of fire that reach out and touch each one of them. In John, when Jesus gives the Holy Spirit to the disciples, he merely breathes it into them. The Holy Spirit is a huge character and a huge player in the Bible, in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. In the Old Testament, we are told that the Spirit of God hovered over the abyss, and it was the creative spirit that brought the world into being. And when God created humanity, God breathed his spirit, breathed life into Adam, we are told in Genesis. In the same way, we're reminded of this when Jesus breathes the Holy Spirit into the disciples in the Gospel of John. But then, in also in the Old Testament, the Shekinah glory of God, the Holy Spirit of God, appears like a pillar of fire and a pillar of smoke that leads God's people throughout the land. And this same Shekinah glory, this Spirit of God, is the same Spirit that descends on the disciples at Pentecost. In other places in the Bible, the Holy Spirit is called the Comforter. And I, I like that. It's like a warm blanket that wraps around you. And Paul says of the Holy Spirit that when we don't know what we ought to pray for, that the Holy Spirit will intercede on our behalf with groans too deep for words. That Holy Spirit is a thing that that gets stirred up in worship and we say that we are filled with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is that connecting piece that ties us to God and ties us to one another. So we will be exploring this Holy Spirit that plays such an important and central role to our faith. So come and join us this Sunday. It is Halloween, and so we invite you to wear your costume if you like, especially the kids, and we'll have a special praise club when uh, Mr. Josh will take them up to praise club, and they'll enjoy some uh, festivities up there, and we'll have a little um, costume parade. So please come and join us at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. If you can't join us in person, just follow us on YouTube under First Baptist Church of Salt Lake City. Thank you and God bless.